Quote, it's one of the worst things I've seen in 27 years. That's how one officer described a gruesome crime scene overnight. Just after 2 o'clock this morning, police and firefighters were called to the 1000 block of Kinsmore Avenue for what they thought was a trash fire. But when they got there, they discovered the body of 35-year-old Peter Cowell III on fire near the trash can. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Officers are treating this death as suspicious. One neighbor was already working to put out that fire before first responders got there. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson talked with him about his efforts to save the man. She joins us with more. Angelica. The circumstances surrounding the fire are still unclear, but one thing that is for sure, Sean Cook will never forget the horrific situation he saw early this morning. Hours later, the smell of gasoline is still in the air. Debris from the fire remains, and for Sean Cook, the reality of what happened in this alley last night is unforgettable. Um, I noticed a big flash and some high flames in the alley. He thought a trash can was on fire, but when he got up close, he noticed a man lying there. Is he alive? Could we save him? Um, he wasn't moving. That's when he went and got his fire extinguisher. When I got up there and got the flames off of him, I noticed that you know there was no there was no saving him. He was he was already gone. Another neighbor came out to see what the commotion was all about, and what he saw was horrifying. He was not actually on fire when I saw him. He was still smoldering and smoking, though. Soon, police and firefighters and EMS workers swarmed the streets. Michael Hill is still trying to process what happened. It was, it was just terrifying to see and to believe that something like that had happened in my backyard. Still, he's grateful for the heroic actions of his neighbor. That's another person that cares about another person no matter who they are. And we need more of that in this world nowadays. Cook says he was just trying to help in any way he could. At the very least, if I can't save his life, I can keep houses from getting caught on fire. Um, if there was a crime, maybe it'll preserve some of the evidence that might be there. Um, what, whatever I could do. Authorities are still investigating, so we don't know yet how the man died. Police and fire are working closely with the Allen County Coroner's Office to figure out what happened. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.